Wix email marketing tutorial, how to send emails using Wix. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can send emails using Wix and how to make all of these features integrated within Wix instead of having to go into different applications and different websites to start your emailing journey or your marketing journey. So let's get into it. Now you can see over here I'm on my Wix dashboard and these are all of the websites that I've created using Wix. Now to start my email marketing I'm going to select the website I want to start email marketing for and it's very easy to create your Wix account. You're just going to head on over to Wix.com and you're going to click on get started and you're going to put in your email or you can log in using Google or Facebook as well. Now let's just say I am looking for Jane's photography and I want to add some stuff to that and I'm going to click on select and edit the site and what this is going to do is it's going to open the dashboard for this site specifically so once I have opened my site you can see there are going to be a lot of options over here on Wix now there's a lot you can do using Wix and I feel like the Wix tool is underrated because there is so much more you could do with Wix as compared to other, you know, website developers. And what you're going to do now is you're just going to click on edit site and you're going to open the site in your Wix editor. Now you can see over here I have opened my Wix website in my Wix editor and usually in these themes you do have a get in touch form. You can add this as well so if you go on add you can just section to page and add this kind of section as well. Now for this I'm just going to click on this little section and I'm going to see all of the details on the left side over here. So you can see the site email that I have added. And you can change that as well. And for your form over here, you can see I have these different, you know, choices or field that fields that I have added. I can add some more buttons as well. And if I go into more settings, I can send the email notifications to a different email and I can change the form name as well. Now, these are just the basic subscription forms on Wix where you can add a basic little form but if you want more detail we're going to delete this form and add a different kind of form and I'll show you guys how you can do that. Now what you're going to do is click on add section to page and below that you're going to scroll down. Now to add your editing form or your subscription form what you're going to do is you're either going to go and open up the detailed editor here on Wix and you're going to click on this plus icon on the left and you can just search, click on search, you can see, and you're gonna, going to search for light box. And you can see there are four types of light boxes. So you have welcome light boxes, subscription light boxes, you have contact light boxes, and you have promotional light boxes as well. If you just look at them directly from here, so you have interactive, and then you can see all these different light boxes, and you can choose whichever one you like. So Let's add a subscription light box and you can see a light box is absolutely customizable. So if you manage your light box over here, you can see you can rename it. You can change these settings like so, and you can also add a delay to it. You can add it to a different page. You can also close the light box as well, or give a non closure option for your light box. Now for your light box, if you move your cursor over these texts, what you're going to do is you're going to do a right click and then you can get your little over here. So you can set triggers to initiate your light box. And if you take a look at your light box settings, you can see once more that if you want this to be automatically displayed or if you want to have specific light boxes that show up depending on what the trigger for the light box is. So a welcome light box might only show up when someone is logging on for the first time. If someone is coming again, then you might want a thank you light box. If you have a general subscription light box, you want to have that displayed all the time. And now to set up your emailing system on your light boxes, if you take your mouse and go over this email box over here, 
I'm just going to click on that and you're going to click on from settings. And over here, you're going to move down to your automations and email marketing. So you can do either. Now, first off, you can create a thank you email or whatever kind of email you want to send. And so when someone submits their little form over here, or you can even create a new tasks and automate a different kind of response. And if you click on email campaigning, you can see that there are different email newsletters you can explore from and start off with a blank email newsletter as well. Or I'm just going to show you guys some of the templates available here on Wix that you can choose from in email templating. So until that loads, I'm going to go into automations. I'm going to click on create a thank you email. I'm going to create an email as well. Now you can set different triggers for different emails. Now, this is just as simple as uh, setting up different triggers on maybe Clavio or Send in Grid or Send in Blue. Because what you're going to do is you're going to set a trigger. So maybe if someone looks at bookings, you're going to add that as a trigger and then you're going to send a specific email in response. So you can also send a coupon. So maybe if someone looks at price codes or maybe when a person, a session is canceled by you or a client or a client, if a session is canceled, then you're going to send a coupon via email like that. And you can send a unique single-use coupon or you can send a uh, same-use coupon. Usually, people will always send a single-use coupon so they're not constantly reused. And once you do all of that, I'm just going to click on activate. I haven't added the coupon email. So I'm just going to create a new coupon. And then you can also limit the total number of uses for each coupon. You can make it a single use coupon or you can make it a recurring coupon as well. Or you can make it either a expiring coupon where it's not a single use coupon, but it will expire on a certain due date. So let's just say we have a limit of two uses. And just like that, we have set up our email marketing here on Wix.com for our Wix website. And now our automation is active. So whenever someone cancels our little uh, booking session, we are going to automatically send them a coupon and they're probably going to be more inclined to rebook their session. Now that is how easy it is to set up your email marketing here on Wix. Now, although it's pretty easy to set up your email marketing campaign here on Wix, there are a few limitations. First off, you can only send up your email marketing campaign if you're already using Wix. And for that purpose, I do think it does the job well. But in any other situation, I would suggest that you opt for a different email marketing software altogether that focuses on email marketing like MailChimp, ConvertKit, or Sendinblue. All these are better email marketing softwares where you are going to have the actual expansion in your email marketing. So although Wix is very decent to use, I would suggest that you opt for MailChimp, ConvertKit, or Sendinblue if you're not using Wix as your basic website developer. And I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next video.